Hey, how you doing there? Henry Olsen here from Super Simple Guitar, and welcome to another episode of Hang With Henry. Roll the intro. All right, welcome back. So today we're going to be checking out Eric Clapton together with Joe Bonamassa live at Royal Albert Hall, and they're going to be playing Clapton's tune further on up the road. Now, the really cool story behind this recording is that um, Joe Bonamassa actually wrote Eric Clapton a handwritten letter inviting him to play. And the really cool thing is that this song is the first song that Joe Bonamassa learned how to play on the electric guitar. And now here he is at you know Royal Albert Hall, one of the most famous places to play. Um, playing that song together with Clapton. So that's just so cool and so inspiring to me that, you know, that can even happen, right? Playing with your hero, you know, the first song that you ever learned at, at such a place. So anyways, let's get into it. I'm going to be showing you the chord progression, some of the licks, all that cool stuff. I also am going to have a tab of the chord progression, also showing, um, you know, the licks, some licks being played, and also some of the solos being played. So if you want to get that tab totally for free and a backing track, by the way, um, there's a link for that under this video, okay? You can see it on your screen. It looks good. It's been professionally made. Um, so grab that. It's free. All right, let's check it out. Okay, so really quick, the chord progression is a 12 bar blues. We're playing four bars in G, G7, right? So. Going into a C7. For two bars, back to G. For two bars. D7, one bar, C7, one bar, G7, two bars right now instead of playing that whole big you know chord what they're doing is playing these nice little kind of small pieces of those chords right which is making it sound much tighter um so let me let me kind of show you that also the the little intro lick which is going to be tabbed out as well by the way is this nice see how nice it sounds right Okay, so um, the scale that's being used for that is the scale that you're going to hear B.B. King use all the time, Joe Bonamassa, Eric Clapton, and it's basically mixing G minor pentatonic with the blue note and G major pentatonic. So you have your pentatonic notes, plus you have the second interval in there or the ninth, and you have the sixth the, or the thirteenth, and you have that major third, right? So that's giving you that sound. So just really quickly to show you that scale, uh, we're going to go three... Five, six, three, five, three, five, three, four, five. There's the major third. Right. And then third string, sixth fret is that blue note. Right. So it kind of looks like we're playing all the notes, and we almost are. There's very few that we're not playing in this scale. Right. Um, so let's keep going. Three. Five, six, three, five, six. Okay, so see that? There's the blue note again. And that's the scale that just works perfectly for the blues. And it's the scale that you're going to need to learn how to use if you want to finally break out of the pentatonic. Okay, I'd recommend starting with the major third. Right, and then slowly start adding in that 13 and nine, okay? But anyways, what, what they're doing in the intro is it's this nice little um, hammer on from the third fret onto the fourth fret, then going to the next string, which is the second string, three to five, and then barring down on the first and second string, third fret, so. See that? 
Okay, so that's kind of like how that main first little lick works. It's a typical lick that you'll hear Clapton do all the time and Joe Bonamassa. So um, there's that. And then one other kind of main thing that you're going to hear throughout is you bar down on the fifth fret, the third and the um, fourth string. And then you bar down either the second and third string third fret or the same fret, but now the third and the fourth string. Okay, so. So. And the same here. You could do either the second and third string together or the third and fourth. Okay, so. And then the cool thing that's going to make it kind of have this movement in it and this kind of like momentum is you're going to hammer onto that that major third, right? So that's on the fourth um, fret third string. Okay, so. Right, it's a very bluesy sound. So either he'll use these two, like I said, second and third, or third and fourth. Again, you can see that in that free tab. This part has been tabbed out, okay? So. Or. Another thing that Joe Bonamassa does all the time is he'll do a hammer on pull off with that middle finger onto that major third. So. See that? Okay, so let's keep going. You'll you'll hear it now. Let me let me start over just so you can actually hear all that now with, with the context. There was that intro. See that? See that? And then after he does that, he'll just go back down here to the first and second string, which is giving you like a G power chord, right? Just in a higher register. So Right, instead of playing. Right, see how much more characteristic and color it has when you do. See that? Okay. Same thing. Just now we're at C. Right. Same exact idea, just to see. Going back down to Clapped in there. Clapped in with a nice lick. See Bonamaza? Okay, again, that's tabbed out. Okay. So now Bonamassa is just leaving space. You can hear the bass really pumping that groove. The drum is just kicking along, moving things around. And Clapton has some space to solo without getting in the way of Bonamassa, right? So Bonamassa is just kind of singing, letting Clapton play those leads. Doing that little thing again. That was a little slide in the blue note. Okay. Clapton with a slightly less, how should I say, dynamic tone. He still has a nice tone, but Bonamassa, Bonamassa's tone is just next level. I mean, to me, this is as good of electric guitar tone as you're ever going to get. It's just his tone is so good. What you saw. Okay, that was, since we were in the C, he did this, right? So you can do um, first string and um, third string, third fret, right? Sliding into the fifth fret. So if you're on a G7, you can hold down the second and fourth string on the third fret and slide into that fifth fret, okay? So that's when you're on your G, on your one chord. When you go to the four chord, same thing, just one string set down. Right? When you go to the five chord, same thing, just now we're going to go from five to seven. Back to the G. 
See that? Okay. So just so you know, that's a cool little trick that you can do. I was very happy when I first learned that. It's true. Just like you mistreat someone. Someone gonna mistreat you. You be laughing, pretty baby. G. Someday you're gonna be G. crying. You've been laughing, See? pretty baby. All right, so check this out. This is what I love about blues and blues players. They haven't, you know, been backstage talking about, oh, I'm going to play the first solo, you play the second solo. It's all improvised. It's all spontaneous. Clapton just points to Bonamassa, and he knows what to do, right? And also very cool from Clapton because he's kind of like the, you know, the older, more experienced guy, and he's like, Bonamassa, just take the solo. Let's look at that again. points to him. I mean, come on, Bonamas is just next level. Listen to that solo. One more time. <laughs> So it's so uh, something like that. So much more information. Band. So he starts out kind of slow. Right? And then. Something like that. And then there's this big bend. Which is kind of like, you know, it's kind of taking you further than he's taking you before. He gave you a little bit of information. Little break. A little more information, then he gives you even more. So let me just go back there. Let's listen to it. Okay, first lick. First lick. Built on that a little bit. Many more notes. See that nice pen? Uh, now he's going higher up. So he kind of started out with a little bit of information built on the information. Then he's going higher up. Right? I love that when he goes into that. So starts down low, gives you a little bit of information, does some nice phrasing. It's too fast. This playing is too fast for me to follow, but just to kind of point out some of the subtleties in, in his solo, right? He's just such a great blues guitar player. Starts out low, builds up higher, then he goes even higher, right? And then my favorite part of that solo. Right there, see that? That little, so. See that, he's kind of in this higher register slide. And then he gives you that juicy with slightly more attack. And that's the note G, which is our root note, right? So he's kind of giving us that juicy G there. Clapton, slightly slower, thank God. Easier to follow. Let's listen to Clapton. Again on that note G. And he's just wiggling it. Bonamassa goes. He goes a little bit harder. Clapton goes. 
and just lets that thing wriggle, right? Let's go back. Then Clapton goes into a lower register, so he kind of starts out high. Right? Does that little verbato thing. Then he goes into the lower register. Right? Both of these solos total, like, like from beginning to end, are tabbed out. Okay, those two things are tabbed out, and what we what he, what they played on in the intro. Okay, that's what's in the tab. Just so you know, so you're going to be able to get a ton of really good ideas from from that tab. See that? Okay. Okay, now Clap is starting us off. Energy from the band is growing. I think that was so think of first position just octave higher so so bending up third fret uh, sorry third string 15th fret and then just barring down the first and second string going up here Right, that's the 16th fret. No, sorry, that's the 15th, that's the 17th, that's the 18th. Just think first shape, right? So, okay. Again, he went down low. So he's doing that high up going down low again thing, right? There's so many licks in here, I can't possibly show you everything because it's just, there's too much happening, but let's just enjoy it together. Listen to Bonamassa's tone. I mean, it's just next level. If I were Clapton, I would be like, whoa, this guy, this guy sounds good. Like I would, I would be uncomfortable. Call and response. Listen to that bend. Uh, uh, where was it? I'm not sure it was. But listen to that bend. Let's go back to the bend. I think he's here.
Okay. Hmm. Hmm. So that's again that first shape, G minor pentatonic, right? Hmm. So on the, um, again, what was that? Um, 18th fret. So 18th fret going down to the 15th fret. Right? Okay, so that's again that first shape. If you do it slowly, it doesn't sound very, very spectacular, but. When you speed it up, it sounds cool. Another cool thing you could do would be walk that um, down the, up the pentatonic. So. Right? Right? That would be a cool little idea. They don't do it, but that's a cool little idea. There was a cool little Ben Clapton did there. So he's, it's interesting because we're again in that pentatonic shape. That first one. But we're starting off on this note here, right? And we're bending all the way up here. So that's like bending from here if you're in that first pentatonic shape all the way up here, which you probably couldn't do here, right? So that's a big bend. Let's listen to it. You hear it? There it was. You hear? And he lets it down. He goes up, doesn't choke it off, and brings it back down. Right? So there it is, my friends. I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope it gave you some ideas and some inspiration. Again, I'm going to have a bunch of this stuff tabbed out. There's a link for that. It's totally for free. Um, so get it if you want to. There's going to be a backing track as well. If you want to go deeper with me with step-by-step -step courses where I teach you pentatonic shape one, pentatonic shape two, three, how to connect them, how to move between them, that's all inside of my All Access membership. Um, so check that out if you want to. There's also a link for that under this video. And there's a bunch of other structured courses in there as well. Okay, so if you want to check that out. Um, and that's about that. Give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe, tell a friend, and I will see you very soon with another lesson. Henry Olson here. Take it easy. Bye-bye. <laughs>